on the Onga Titi Outdoor Education Centre and Lodges up there. Good work. Uh, we're we'll doing this, not this, just this. So we're here right now. We're gonna walk along here and along here, and it's an hour walking. Thank you very much for updating me. <laughs> so what happens is, you see, we're trying to bring back the birds here and um, the possums are brought over by other people who didn't realise the damage and they eat the local birds and kill the kiwi and they kill the weka and bird's eggs they do all that and the forests are falling silent and so to control a pest we use poison baits that kill the rats, possums and stokes the pests love the taste of the bird baits but the birds don't like the green colour and we use kill traps too for stokes and spirits that traps inside the box and the hole is small and hard for the birds to get inside. Mm -hmm. And the baits are dried egg or, or an egg or dried rabbit meat. And the trap kills the stoat or ferret stone dead. So although they're pretty little animals in their own right, they've been too brought over when they shouldn't have been brought over to New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So we have, here's a, sto here's a um, trap over here. And this is an, a new trap, an electronic trap. So this is this is the bait. They put a smear of this inside. It kind of smells, it doesn't smell of much, but it's got cinnamon, um, cinnamon in it. We trap the the animal in there. So the animal sticks his head in here. And here are all the electronics. There's a battery in there. And when the animal goes in there, there's a sensor that he breaks and a little pointy gun thing and it goes in and kills him dead instantly uh -huh. so he doesn't suffer at all and then slowly half an hour later it withdraws it's, it's halfway up a tree it, it withdraws and the body falls out and it resets itself ready for the next animal so that means that you don't have to have people going around that's the tracks really all the time that's really good so that's a fairly new invention is it? yes like, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't come across that one before Right, and that's a um, auto that? traps there, AT220. <laughs> and this here says where, where the uh, trails are in the park? So here are the trails. They have been around a long time. It takes an awful lot of care to look after the forest. And so we have volunteers like this lady here who's Hello. been doing her bit. We have a project manager paid for by the Angotiri Forest Restoration Trust, mm. Emma. And she manages it all and fits, com, does all the compliance stuff and organises the volunteers and gets everything organised. So mm. I'm, I'm the hostess at this kohanga, this hut. Ah, okay. I'm the hostess kinza. And um, I do some baking and things and look after the volunteers with the cup of tea or coffee. Nice. As they Stay come back, out. we record the time. <laughs> we record the time they go out and the time they come in so that we know that nobody is missing. Mm, left yeah. out there, yeah. And then they fill in today, they're filling in how much bait they got. And Juliet, is it? Yes. Oh, you've done yours. Yeah. Right. Thank you. And I'll mark you as Richard. Oh, there's Juliet. Oh, oh that's all. Just to make sure we're safe. Yes, now it's good oh, stuff, isn't it? Everything's recorded. And Yes, to, now, so now we will have to, we all have to um, put it there for now. sign up with health and safety. Yes. So and come, Brenda, and I'll show you up here. So That's children, come and have a look. Excuse me. There's tracking tunnels and there's um, a, little, a little pad and the animals walk through a bit of an ink pad then they walk through the paper inside the tunnel and they leave their footprint. So here are the different footprints of the cat and the hedgehog and the possum and the ferret and the stoat and the weasel and all the cats and here they are here are the real ones the real ones are the yeah. messy little things aren't they yeah so you can tell <laughs> that they've been into the trap yeah. and also we're looking for an endangered butterfly a new zealand forest ringlet oh hedgehogs can you see hedgehogs we want hedgehogs? sightings of that hmm? oh yeah up and over so the oh, how will she fit through there? What's the password? Am I? Fantail. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs>
Good work. Found throughout the country in towns as well as forests. These friendly birds will come quite close to people. They're also called pea waka wakas. Oh, my Alvin, what's your name? Mary. Mary. You say you're a volunteer here yes. doing some work here in the, in the forest. Yes, you want me to show you what we, we've been collecting? Love to, yes. Okay. Just I've seen your health and safety back there, that they know where you are, what time you started and what time you finished. Yeah. Well, this is what we had put out. We put a little bag of pallets. Yes. And I'm going back and collecting those pallets from the traps to see if they've been eaten. <laughs> and on the line I did, hardly any got eaten, but right just near the track, yes. the main track, seven pallets had been eaten of the eight. Right, okay. So, so we put out a lot, lots of little traps. So I've done you know, 16 bait traps I've looked at on the two lines. So I have a line going that way and then coming back. Yes. And only three of those baits had had something nibbled out of them. So it's yes. a lot of work. Yes. But this is the thing. Yes. It's, you've got to be consistent. <laughs> and the to... fact that you're not getting many uh, takers that means that this, uh, that's a good sign. Well, I think so. Yes. Yeah. We have, I can see yeah. that in the years that I've been doing this, the forest is growing. Lovely. So it's getting harder and harder to scramble your way through it yes because all the little trees are coming up that come used to be eaten yeah. yes so that's that's the Pro lovely part that's progress isn't it so i saw a robin mm. i didn't hear it i just saw it scuttling around mm. yes and i saw a big fat pigeon lovely. so i'm very happy lovely lots of twoies lots of gray warblers but it's the uh, robins coming back we're very proud of lovely yeah thank you for telling me bye bye, -bye. Now, it worked before. <laughs> Who am I? Ring, ring, ring. Um, listen, I sometimes copy the calls of other birds. My towny relatives can mimic my ringing telephones and other city noises. Hint, my dinner looks like this. Fact, people used to call me Parson Bird because of my neck feathers. I don't know what of that. Um, it's a tui. The brightly coloured flowers of... What's that word? A kofi. Kofi, puhudakawa, rere, and puhuri trees. Um, favourites? As the tui sips the flowers nectar, pollen sticks to the bird's head and is carried on to the next flower. The pollinated flowers can now develop seeds. Mm, that's good. Yeah, there's a squish ladybug on there. Why are there heads of ladybugs on here? Oh, they're just hiding in between the two layers. Sit down. Which way, Safe? Long way is that way. Short way is that way. Let's do the short way, then. The wicker, huh? Yep. Flightless wicker, easy prey for bigger predators like ferrets. And another one, Chloe? Yeah. What do you got? Dinner. I eat the biggest berries in the forest. Listen, you won't often hear my voice, but my wings beat when I fly is very distinctive. Yeah. Hint, I have a white feather apron. It's a New Zealand wood pigeon. Beautiful. Only. What are you saying only? You just took all the two licorices. Yes, Sophie. Are and you sharing? Are you sharing? I've only got this, Mum. Yeah, now you That's know. good. Look, we've got, we've got some pills here to keep it going. Go, I want to go mine. Yum. She ran off into the bushes somewhere. There she is! <laughs> it's actually about her, though. She just made it about her. Dad. Yes. Oh, who's this? A grey wobbler. A grey wobbler. Um, we're noticing that the bush, there are some birds, but it's still a lot quieter than the bush down in the South Island. Remember you walked from Haast down to uh, Big Bay there, way down there, and you went through an area that they were poisoning and everything too, weren't you? Mm. Poisoning for possums and that sort of they thing. They just did a big 1080 drop. And, yeah. Yeah, like the week before or the month before. And, and between rivers... That's the block that they did, and then when you went into the next block, mm. 
it just become like a stereophonic um, yeah. bird call, didn't it? Yeah, it's different. Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference of the, the dead forest and the alive forest. Yes. So the teen is devastating for all all forms of life, really, isn't yeah, it? So. So, so I just keep them playing. Yeah, a little bit more sunny than this would be good. Someone already have a cup of tea. Just walk. We found our place for Smoko in the forest. Ah, get off me! Get off. <laughs> well, now we meet. Yummy, look at that. Lunchtime. Chicken, is it? <coughs> no, it's a loomy cheese. Oh, looks good. A trap, be careful. Bama. See there's a bait in there, and if you go and nibble on that, you'll lose your neck. There's a volcano and lava's coming out of Ooh, it. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Did you put him there? Or was that the natural growing thing? No, I put the plant there. Oh, oh. you did too. Oh. It, was, it was close enough. I though. thought it was actually growing in no, there. No, the plant was here, so it was kind of close enough. Yeah. So it was pretty much there. <laughs> oh, I don't know, that's too good. <laughs> it's a good idea, but. It's not going to work because everything's so wet out there. You? No. So you just got to uh, go and check down. Put on the story. Right, what have you found there? Let's get a story about it. Well, I, I was looking about and I found this, and look, the wood's actually grown around the stick. Is it metal or what is it there? It's that... wood. Wood's grown around it? Yeah. Well, I'll no. be blown. It's metal. No, it's wood. It's wood. And they put their walking stick in it, eh? It's pretty Isn't good spot. That's funny. Ah, so, uh, probably. I don't know if I can hold it. I think it's a tree. Do you think it's a stoat hole? No, it isn't. Sam, <laughs> put, your arm in there, put your arm in there, Sam, and get, get him out. Get in there. Get your hand in there. No. Go on, Samantha, get in there. You go, so. Yeah. Dig it out, dig it out. Get! I just want to go out. Yeah. But then I did feel silly doing it. You can't do that. You're walking. Oh, well, that was good fun.